Hey, it's Alan with A-Holster. That's a couple questions about how to adjust Kydex. Well, sometimes you get into Kydex, and depending on the gun, depending on the manufacturer, when it was manufactured, the material, everything, it could be made differently. Different sizes, different measurements on the slide and thickness. Now, I add quite a bit of tape and stuff to these blue guns here to add a little bit of forgiveness inside the holster. But I'm going to heat this little area right here. Use a heat gun on low heat setting. Take your time. It's kind of like when you fan your hair. You fan it back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Take your time. Patience. Patience is a virtue. You can reheat it and do it again as long as you don't overheat it. If you overheat it, it'll get uh, what you might call uh, brittle. And you'll notice it'll get a shiny gloss to it. But I'm going to heat this section right here from here to here. I'm going to bend this up. I'm going to use a piece under it. And what I'm doing is bending this up for the safety here. And I'm going to show you the heat on here. Low setting. I'm going to fan this back and forth. Never keep the heat on one section because it will actually heat up and get shiny on you. Just a moment, I'll show you what shiny is, but I'm not going to do it for this holster. You just apply heat and move the fan in different directions. Only heat the areas you want to heat, that you want to move. Again, patience. Keep fanning, keep fanning. Eventually this area right here starts to get a little pliable. See that? Of course you can put the heat gun on high, but you risk a chance of burning the kydex, putting too much heat. So I'm just fanning it. Kind of like Bob Ross, a happy little tree, happy little fan here and there, you know. Fanning, fanning. Keep the gun at least an inch away if possible. Direct the heat away from the holster, not this direction. So this is getting super pliable now. It'll stay pliable for about 10-15 seconds, depending on the amount of heat you give it. I'm using the gun, sorry, club. Just holding this down for a few seconds. In the position I want it. This piece of kydex I put under, it's giving me a space, a perfect space we need. If you don't have a piece of plastic, you make something else. Or eyeball it. This will cool off here in just a few seconds. See, it's barely flexible now. It takes about 10-15 seconds for it to cool. About 30 seconds, totally cool. See that gap space it made there for me? That allowed for an ambi thicker safety, or if they put an extended safety, it gives you plenty of spot here. But sometimes you get the gun and it's really hard to pull in or out. And the adjustment's right here on this trigger adjustment, and it grabs around the trigger guard itself right here. If it's too tight, you can actually take your heat gun with gloves on, the gun in the holster, if you can get it in the holster and fan just this area right in here, just lightly, and it'll start to get pliable and the gun will pop out really quick. And if it does, that's fine, pop it back in. But this is the area you wanna concentrate on, right here around the trigger guard. That is usually the culprit, and sometimes the slide thickness is the culprit. But I'm gonna loosen this here, just like we did a moment ago. On low setting, I'm gonna fan just the areas I wanna concentrate the heat on. Remember, do not leave the heat gun in one place. You have to fan off for a second. I'm focusing just this area, especially the trigger guard area. I'm not hitting this area if possible. That heat goes pretty quickly where you want it. Fanning. Again, patience. Patience, patience. Heating. You want to be careful not to put too much heat right here because this will bend out on you. So you might want to put your thumb there with gloves on to keep it from bending. Cover it so the heat doesn't get it. Can you press in with your thumb yet? Nope. You've not got enough heat. Keep fanning. Notice right here it pulled up. Catch. I'm going to keep fanning. Can I press here? Oh yeah, look at there, it presses in real easy. Once it presses in easy, so it pops out super easy. Well, you don't want it that easy, so press.
press this in just a little bit around here with your thumbs. Not hard, just enough. Notice that indention. I can push as far as I want or as little as I want. But if you keep pulling the gun out with it cool, it's going to keep moving. So keep your thumb there. Wait a few seconds. Pull it. That's pretty good. Pretty good. See, that made it quite a bit looser on the inside. Now you can repeat that process over and over. If you do it twice here and it's not getting it, and this is still pretty loose here, take a fan one time and do the top across the slide. That might be the culprit as well. It might be too tight in this area. Cover the areas you don't want to heat. Fan that thing back and forth. Take your time, and it may take you multiple times. Let me burn a piece of Kydex on purpose and show you what it's going to do. Shining really quick. I'm leaving the fan. Oh, here it comes, here it comes. Soft, cool. Now the finish is different. See that stay soft. It'll still work if you burn it. It'll still be fine. It'll cool off in the exact position you leave it in. The difference is it's going to be quite a bit shiny, and that can become brittle, like I said earlier. But let me hold this for a second and show you. It'll keep the curve that i got bent right here. A low setting works perfect. You can also use a hair dryer. If you've got a hair dryer, your wife's got a hair dryer, put it on a high setting and fan it back and forth just like he's blowing your hair. That'll also work. It'll just take just a little bit longer. Still kind of squishy. Guess that's been about 15 seconds. Let's give it a few more seconds. Holds form. What's also important to keep in mind, if you keep your holster out in the sun in a car with the windows up and direct sunlight, this thing's going to want to go flat with heat. I'm going to reheat it again to show you. It'll return to its natural form or very close to it. That's how you heat Godex. Remember, patience is a virtue, fanning motion. Cover any areas you don't want to get hot and take your time. Repeat as necessary. This is Alan with A-Holster. Hope you learned something. Have a good one.